ordination to the priesthood is not something personal, but it is communal. I was ordained not for myself, but for others, for the Holy Mother, the Church. I never deserve, I never deserve to receive this gift because of my unworthiness. But God, out of His love and generosity, allowed me to receive this sacred gift. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng ordination, lalong-lalo na ng isang pare? Hindi po ibig sabihin nito, ngayong maordinahan siya, hindi na siya kulang para bang kukumplituhin siya. No. Hindi po ibig sabihin na ordinasyon niya ngayon, siya magiging mas mahalagang anak ng Diyos kaysa sa atin. Lalong-lalo na yung mga hindi naordinahan. Hindi po ibig sabihin nun, siya ngayon ay mas importante sa atin bilang anak ng Diyos. Hindi po yun. Hindi yun ang ibig sabihin ng ordinasyon. And you will be configured to Christ. Let this configuration to Christ be your life each day. Even though I am already ordained, may I not be blinded from the fact that I am still weak and I can never survive without His unending grace. May this weakness remind me of my mission to magnify the name of the Lord rather than mine. May this frailty always remind me of the corresponding task to share the Lord's gift to the whole church through a service that seeks not for reward, but a service that always aims to go the extra mile. Ako ay pinuspos at isinugod. Sabi mo, pinuspos siya ng Espiritu Santo. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Si Pinuno. Kaya nga po tinatawag natin yung leader, Pinuno. Si Pinuno. Pinuno ng Espiritu Santo. Kaya nga siya ngayon ay magpupuno. Sinong pupunoy niya? yung mga nasa sitwasyon ng kakulangan, lalong-lalo na ng dangal. Yung pagpatong ng kamay noong una pa man sa simbahan, ito ay ginagamit na pagpapahayag na pagtanggap ng Espiritu Santo. Then, isa pa, sacramental action, the anointing of, anointing with oil of prison. Ito rin ay pagpapahayag ng pagtanggap ng Espiritu Santo. Reverend Ray, ikaw ay pupuspusin ng Diyos. Punong puno ka, kaya nga ikaw ay magiging pinuno. Dahil ikaw ay pinuno. The first way to achieve success is to keep your feet on the ground. To be humble so that the name of the Lord will be exalted. I thank Him for those excruci excruciating experiences that I had gone through because they serve as milestones for me to stand stronger. Ikaw ay maordinahan, ngunit hindi ibig sabihin nito, ikaw ay magiging Mesiya. Okay? Kailangan mo maging masaya. Pero hindi ka Mesiya. You are not here to become a Savior. There is only one Savior. He said that the only identity crisis that is worthy of the name occurs when the priest begins to forget that it is Jesus Christ to whom he is bearing witness. What is our role? Well, nandito tayo unang-una. Ito pong ating kapatid ay hindi perfect. Hindi siya perfect. This day is a very special day. This day is remarkable and worth remembering. Because God is good and generous. He gave me a precious gift. The gift of ordination to the priesthood. 
And He continues to give me many gifts. And that is your presence. Kayo po, kayo pong lahat yon. Kayo pong lahat na nandirito ngayon ay regalo ng Diyos sa akin. Your very presence is a gift. To reach out to Him when He is in need of assistance, when He is in need of understanding, when He is in need of our support. May God bless our brother, Reverend Irving.